What is happening everyone? Welcome to another video. Uh, we're going to be talking about Survival Season 6 in this video and... Wait, there's more. We're going to be talking about some uh, jacket and a um, blanket. Even though the hoodies that I have on my website are very, very warm, they don't come with batteries. Okay? That's what she said. So, uh, we're going to review these as we talk about Survival Season 6 after the intro. Okay. Okay, folks, I'm back. I'm gonna get into this in a second. Uh, I um, I did put the coat on and turn turn it on. Uh, as you know, it gets cold every year. Some places colder than others, and I'm gonna be doing survival season six. I'm gonna wait till about mid January or so. They say that's the coldest time of the year. Uh, around the Midwest so that's when I'm gonna go I've been trying to partner with uh, different companies and get items to review um, for the most part to review them before I go on the trip so I know if they're good enough for me to take or not so we're gonna find that out on this blanket and on this jacket uh, this is from Aurora uh, they emailed me and I looked at their website. Uh, I would tell you the price of this, but if you go on their website, you're going to get $50 off within 48 hours or 25% or off one or 30% off two. So you have to go to their Aurora.com uh, website and just check them out for yourself and, and, and go through all the different um, items. Uh, but I have been getting donations uh, and I want to thank you guys for for help starting off the donation for survival season six If you want to do that, they'll be in the links below uh, as well all the links for this company uh, I Didn't know for sure or not if I was going to be doing the survival season six, but some uh, donations start trickling in um, and again, uh, I do thank you guys uh, and for you guys that do not have the money or live in check to check, please, please, please do not send any donations. Uh, all I ask from you is to just hit that like button on the video, share the videos. That's all. That's all you have to do if you don't have the money or you live in check to check or, or just have a little enough to get by. Please don't because I'll feel bad if you try to donate to this channel with the kindness of your heart to do that. Please don't. Uh, but the, those that can, that want to see some more Survival Season 6 and just uh, different stuff in the future, that's what the uh, donation links are for. So uh, with that said, um, I am going to be looking for a hot tent and a furnace to go inside like a titanium aloe furnace alloy furnace deal that's real lightweight that maybe I could take backpacking in the future so I'm trying to look at stuff that I can use here and for other stuff so I don't have to keep getting uh, different items uh, for the trips so uh, with that said guys uh, I do have a zero degree sleeping bag and I was thinking about incorporating maybe the blanket uh, in the sleeping bag if it drops down too low and the furnace goes out. Uh, I know when you're doing a, um, a hot tent and you got to keep feeding the fire every couple hours, so she said, uh, then maybe having a blanket after you feed that fire one time, having that blanket in there where you don't have to keep getting up and down, uh, then it'll, uh, it might help out a little bit on some sleep. Right now it's 33 degrees. I woke up extra early to get out here and get set up for you guys. You're welcome. Let's dig into this uh, review. Um, disclaimer. I review stuff. 
Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Most of the times you're seeing reviews right now, they're good. That's not my fault. It's just good stuff that comes about. Um, but to let you guys know, I'm not getting paid any money from these videos. Uh, well, YouTube. But rev I review it. They, they offer me the stuff for free. Um, if I don't like it, then I don't like it. If I do, I do. I keep it no matter what. But I will not, I'm telling you now, I will not review something and say it's good when it's not. Because who wants more crap from a company <laughs> that that's crap. I don't want no no more. Um, so just to throw that out there, guys, this is my honest review. If you don't like it, you had it before, that's all you. They said something about a log splitter I had before. Um, that they didn't even have it before, but they said it's crap. Like you never you don't even have it. I just reviewed it, okay? Um, I'm reviewing stuff that and I'm a cheapskate. I'm a cheapskate, and if it's good. And it's quality, I don't mind spending more money. I don't mind, okay? If it's crap and it's cheap, who wants that? Because it's gonna fall apart and you gotta keep spending money. Uh, so again, please, 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 uh, everybody's everybody's idea is gonna be different on different stuff as well, but this is mine and I do have a cheat sheet because I wrote down, I, I was sitting there with a, not a stopwatch, but I was looking at my clock every 30 minutes. I had an uh, alarm set every 30 minutes to make sure the battery life um, and the best settings that I would like. Um, so this is the stuff that I wrote down and I'm gonna try to go through all that with you in detail. Um, but I'm gonna start with the jacket. I got pros and cons. Um, water and wind resistant. Uh, when I'm saying the wind resistant part, it's like a turtleneck for your, for your sleeves. Look at this. See this right here? You can put it in, you can put your hand in like this. If you don't like your hand like that, you can just keep it like this and see how you, you push your hand in and it's gonna stop the wind from going all the way through your sleeve. So I really like the snug fit. They have these pulls that has a, I really like they have a little deal right here because the knot is kind of hard to hold on to this. You can hold on to this hand, it, excuse me, it pull these tighter. So I got these pulled tighter ready can actually do it one-handed that's what she said they're very stylish I do want to tell you that usually um, stuff that does work well um, has a tendency not to even look great but actually this looks great anyway uh, and another pull string um, is right here it's around your torso so it pulls it tighter so the heating elements in here actually go to your body um, usually I get jackets that's like one size bigger which I did on this one uh, I'm still happy that I did uh, because I do I don't like it really tight if I don't want them tight uh, but they do have a pull string so uh, if you want to get them a little just a regular size like normal people do um, the heating elements heat up uh, to your liking a lot better but actually it's tight right now go ahead go ahead, guys you said I can't say this whole video but yes yeah, she said that um, another thing on this lots of pockets Lots of pockets inside this pocket here is going to be the heating element. Um, when you push this in one time, I did a video earlier and I'll put it in now. Uh, when you push this in one time, hold it for two to three seconds, it's going to blink red. Uh, it's blinking red because that's preheating. It's preheating um, the jacket. So five to ten minutes, I think it preheats and it goes automatically to white. The red, the red would be high. The white would be medium. The blue would be low. Um, the, the jacket has four heat zones, left, right chest, neck, and back. It doesn't have the arms. Um, I think they do have jackets uh, that do have the arms as well, so you wanna check that out as well. Um, I already talked about the wrist ties, uh, anti-wind elastic, I have that. Uh, plenty of pockets, I didn't show you all the pockets because wait, there's more. Uh, I'll show you these pockets here. They have some deals here. I'm not sure what you put into here, duck collars or something, but they have a little bitty straps here. Uh, these are like kangaroo pouches, folks. Um, and they zip up. Look, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure how big you think this is, but look, look at that. That fits, that fits like that. I'm, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna carry this around with you like that, but these are big pockets. Um, on the inside, there are no pockets, but one, the pocket is this one. 
for the battery. The battery slips in there. And we'll talk about the battery in a minute, but it has lights on it right now. There's four lights. That means it's fully charged, 100%. Okay, let's go down the line. It's very well insulated, folks. Very well insulated. Um, the hood, if you don't like the hood on there all the time, um, it'll zip on and zip off, but I'll talk about the hood in a little bit more detail later. Pocket for battery. Uh, power plug stays lit to show it's on. Okay, that's this right here, but you just look at it like this. Um, these come in small to 3x and I did look on the pricing on the website if you're small I'm just saying you might be losing out on the price because the 3x is the same price but on the other end of the spectrum uh, men are usually large extra large whatever so it's good for you that the price is the same but if you're small you're paying the same amount for a 3x I believe that's what I looked on the website you might want to check for yourself um, they are machine washable. Um, that is a good thing. Um, and we're gonna get off into the cons. Um, I'm not sure what else I can say about this, but I do have um, a lot more great things to say about this than the negatives. Um, but we are gonna go to the negatives. The wrist pulls get in the way. So like if you're going through the bush or getting chased by a mass murderer, these can get caught. Uh, these, and they flat, and I try to put them inside of here but they work their self way out pretty quick. So that's the only thing I don't like about this. Maybe if they had some kind of button type thing that, that, that keeps it down like this, that would be good. Um, the negative about this, this hoodie, I'm gonna tell you now. Put the hood on and if you're not zipping it up, look how big this hood is. I'm gonna take my hat off. Look how, look how big this hood is. Who needs a hood like this? Like you can put another person's head in here like my head like like that um it does have pull strings though so let me um let me try to see how tight i can pull these which i don't want to pull them too hard because you're going to probably eventually bust them off but i'm not a fan of that maybe if you got some big headgear on like a, a couple skull caps toboggans whatever you want to call them uh maybe that would be a good thing but I see that's pretty, pretty not a great thing there with the hoodie. I, I'm not a fan of that. But with that said, let's go down to the battery life. Um, I, that's that's the only negatives I see. That's the only negatives I see, folks. Uh, the battery life. They say um, on high the battery would last three hours. Uh, well, no, I'm lying. It said it'll last three hours. Yes, I'm not lying. Um, the medium at six hours and the low at 10 hours. And come to find out, folks, it didn't last three hours. Um, I think I wrote down two hours here for some reason. Probably got that screwed up. I think they said three hours, but it lasted 2.75 hours. It got close to that. Um, six hours on medium. It lasted on medium. Where am I at? Six hours. It did last six hours on medium. Uh, 5.75 hours. My bad. 5.75. Um, and on 10 hours, at, it lasted 9.5. Um, on hot, it got really freaking warm really quick. As soon as you hit the preheat, it actually heats up super fast uh, within five, 10 seconds. Um, but I'm not sure why it says five to 10 minutes for preheat for it to reset. I guess it just warms it up really hot for the whole jacket and then goes back down to that medium setting automatically. Um, on medium, I found out medium was the best that, uh, that, that I like to add. You can have it at low, um, but I do have to tell you, um, I did do this at like 60 degrees. Um, if you do this at 30 degrees like now, it's probably going to be less time. Um, it's going to heat. It's going to use more heat, uh, so the, the battery life might be 
cut probably about 60, 40 percent. Who knows? Um, but I did this testing at 60 degrees. Um, but I didn't do the sleeping bag test where I put in the sleeping bag or whatever. But I just uh, did the batteries, uh, the battery life with the jacket like this without it being in the sleeping bag. It's going to work the same. Um, I would. I would feel um, but in the sleeping bag I think I'm gonna really like the blanket better um, but that said let me get the blanket out and I will show you uh, without well you know what I'm gonna put the blanket on for you you're welcome be right back Okay, um, I went ahead and put this uh, this on. These are weighted down from the batteries. There's a battery on this side and a battery on this side in this little pocket. Um, they have the zipper. They do have, I think they have two little pockets somewhere else. Uh, I'm not sure, oh, right here. There's a pocket here to put your hand and a pocket here to put your hand. Uh, so you can kind of pull the jacket to keep it down. But to me, I'm only going to tell you about the kind of radius as I'm standing up. The wind's coming up, up here. So the wind is coming in here. If you're in the house or something, sitting down, maybe it's not a big deal. Uh, maybe you can, you can cover it up like this. But I would like this to be a little longer. You say it, folks. Uh, but there's two batteries for this one. So they are heated up. They got the little dots in the front here. I'm not sure if you see it. Let me put it on this one. I put the little, you see the two, two of them going. They are preheating. They are preheating now and they'll turn into white once they get preheated. Uh, it's wind and, and water resistant on the outside. I'm glad because I spilt my freaking coffee over there. Uh, I would not rely, I'm going to tell you now before I forget, I would not rely on both of these for a survival season just if that's all you have because uh, the batteries, something can happen to them, they don't last as long and, and you got to charge them up. Uh, but I will tell you now, each battery, if you put it on medium and they last around six hours, they take four and a half hours to charge up. So if you're only using one battery for the jacket, unless you want to buy a couple extra batteries, that's another scenario. But uh, if you want to use one battery for the jacket and then use that one up, replace it with the other battery, charge the other battery up, you can always keep it charged on medium and have and, and stay nice and toasty on medium. Um, this one here, I'm not a fan of not having arms. I feel like a chicken, like a chicken, because chickens don't have arms. If they had arms, they would look like little chickens with arms it look weird um but they uh i don't i don't i'm not a fan of, of this one i'm just telling you now uh if you do like to stay toasty and a little a little poncho type thing it does zip up uh then you can do that they do have a little button on the bottom you can uh button up uh maybe you can make sleeves with it kind of let me uh let me do that now for you. They got a couple different buttons, so you can you can change them to different different ones. I think, uh, or not. I don't even know what the hell these buttons are for, folks. Oh, okay, here we go. This one or this one, and I'm not sure why you want to button up right there, but this one I think you can go all the way to here. You can make some sleeves, but your arm's going to be exposed a little bit. So you can make some sleeves like this, but no, uh, um, no. Okay. Well, let's, let's go. Let's see what I got on pros and cons on this, uh, on medium, it did last about five and a half hours so about the same as the, the battery life uh, on the jacket um, the pros it's very warm it has about nine um, I think nine heat zones it's two separate heating zones for for one of the batteries it has one heating zone the other battery has another heating zone uh, 
it's machine washable it's very lightweight um, except the batteries is hanging there on the side uh, water resistant shell uh, detachable hood so you can detach the hood as well but uh, to me well it says 35 to 38 ounces weight just a guess so I'm just guessing 35 to 38 ounces for this whole jacket uh, the cons are draft is is up coming up from the bottom um, it's kind of hard to zip up you know if you're if you're by yourself nobody else is zipping it up it is a little difficult to zip up um, I guess you could zip it up and then toss it on uh, the lights already turned to white on here I'm not see if you sure if you see it here uh, but uh, they are they did uh, light up to white they stayed on medium now um, and I think the batteries sold separately uh, you might have to check on the jacket but I think the batteries are sold separately on this I'm not sure how much the batteries are you can check that on the site but if you do get these um, I do recommend the jacket okay I'm not recommending the blanket uh, just not a blanket guy uh, but the jacket very very I'm very impressed very very impressed with the jacket and I would get an extra battery definitely get at least one maybe two extra batteries when you're um, getting the jacket so you can always stay nice and toasty uh, but with that said guys I want to take this off um, put the um, heated jacket back on and then I'll talk to you a little bit more about survival season six and get to going okay well um that's uh the reviews done there just check the descriptions again and uh you can uh check out their site and see what they all have available i didn't say something about this battery i need to tell you about um it has a type c cable here that this plugs into that you charge it in it does come with a charger and it does come with a european charger deal too where you can charge it into a couple different um uh uh power sources of different uh lands uh they do have a usb because you can hook up a charger to your phone but if you're in a survival instance you might want to just do that to get enough juice to call somebody if you have a signal but i wouldn't waste too much of this battery on charging your phone if you need it for the heat but uh, if it's not that that cold out you can use this as a survival thing where you can charge your phone up as a battery bank probably charge your phone up one or two times I haven't checked it on that part uh, so you might want to might want to check that out before you get into an instance like that so with that said uh, I have some other survival season six to do uh, uh, like uh, uh, reviews and such you'll see in the future I did get a um, I did pay for a cast iron tin quart skillet I call it like a witch pot you know like the witch pot which have over the tripods uh, over a fire I did get a bigger uh, cast iron skillet so I can do chili stew and, and just different items one pot deals uh, stone soup if you don't know what stone soup is ask me or just read the comments and people are know-it-alls I'm, I have a lot of know-it-alls on my channels and I thank you very much for your know-it-alls because if you don't know the question of something, the answer to something that I have on here, just read comments. There might be 30 different answers to one uh, uh, typical question, but just uh, educated guess and see which one that might sound best. Uh, but if you know what stone soup is, let me know in the comments because uh, I have something in the future that I'm going to be doing some stone soup recipes. So, very, very excited about that. And I'm not joking. Okay. Um, you know what? Got coffee on it, but Tim brought off. Look at that. Uh, I did want to tell you the stitching on this and the zippers are excellent. Uh, I, I don't know what kind of zippers these are, uh, but they are. They are really high quality. The stitching on this is very well. You don't see any extra little 
fibers coming off of here. Um, it is uh, it is stitched together really, really good. I really like that. And all the zippers, it's wind, the wind won't come through the zipper. It has the, uh, the material where it's uh, meshed together where you don't get that coming through. Uh, and that's the last thing I had to say about these jackets uh, in, the, in the, the blanket. But I really wouldn't really appreciate Aurora uh, for shipping them to me. And uh, hey, only bad thing I think on this jacket is the hood. That's all. Uh, but other than that, uh, we got the uh, Survival Season 6. I'm not sure where at the United States where I'm going to be. But I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Uh, and a happy new year if you don't celebrate Christmas just whatever put whatever you celebrate in the place of me saying Merry Christmas because that's that's what I celebrate uh, but I do want to celebrate all you following the channel please follow my other channel Doug Garbage Disposal DA Garbage Disposal it is in descriptions as well uh, if, we're almost at 100,000 subscribers and almost at 100,000 subscribers on Facebook as well. Uh, we're getting up to about 80,000, a little over 80,000 on TikTok. So I'm going to hit the, um, the hat trick. I think they say that in hockey. I'm not really sure. Sports Freak 97, please let me know if that's if they do three things. It's called a hat trick. Uh, oh, maybe some other know-it-alls on here knows it as well. But uh, uh, yes, I'm going to have 100,000 subscribers on three different social medias which is very very exciting and eventually this channel here i would like to be my number one channel um i would rather be outdoors doing this stuff other than eating uh so this is my number one passion so hopefully we can exceed 100,000 on this channel if you like the video if you definitely subscribe it'll hit the 100,000 uh but share it with your friends family even your boss so I want to thank you very much and the survival season six uh, still up in the air about everything that I'm going to do but I am getting everything together as we speak and writing stuff down and trying to figure out what's the best scenario for a great video for you guys so thank you very much I'm going to get out of here